Uh, Troy Smith in studio with us, hanging with this morning. Just chilling. Just hanging out. Everything going sports. all right? Yeah. And if you notice, we have Chris in, and I've kind of positioned myself further away from him. I'm no make sure kidding. that you stay nice and close. Yeah, with to me him. in between you. Thanks very Chris, much. Chris <laughs> Gregg is a, a TKO Fighting Arts um, competitor, and you're going to be fighting this this coming uh, Friday at Elements. Uh, we're going to talk to you a little bit more coming up here before 8 o'clock, but uh, we've got the webcam rolling. You all right with webcams? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, DaveFM.com. You can click on uh, my blog, the Brian West blog at DaveFM.com, and uh, you can check out the video because um, with the fight coming up on Friday, I know that there's different ways that you can win a fight, right? You can either knock somebody out right, or you can get them to submit. Uh, well, not not in uh, Muay Thai, no. In Muay Thai? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, what is Muay Thai? Uh, well, Muay Thai basically is uh, fighting from Thailand. That's where it started. That's yeah. where it's from. But uh, basically, it's uh, stand-up fighting. You can do... Like punches and kicks, so all over the body with uh, knees and elbows as well. Whoa! <laughs> knees and elbows, but it's all it's all stand up. There's so, no. Oh, uh, you know what? And and I think that because whenever I watch yeah. UFC, I get a little bit bored when guys end up on the ground rolling around, kind of yeah. hugging for five minutes. Yeah, you sure. know what I mean. So this is all stand up. Right. So does that mean that you don't know how to make somebody submit? If uh, uh, well, I could try my best. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I see it on TV too. <laughs> <laughs> One way you could make him submit is just knock him out, which I'm sure he's going to try yeah. and do, right? On the <laughs> floor. So how long have you been fighting for? Uh, basically uh, 10 years almost, yeah. And on 10 years. is it true that uh, you've been undefeated for three of those 10 years? Yeah. So uh, since I think it's uh, February of 07. Wow. Undefeated. Yeah. Now, how, how many fights have you had in that three? Like one fight or? <laughs> one fight. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, I think this will be my 14th or 15th fight undefeated. Undefeated. So do, you want to go up against, anybody want to go up against him no, here and see I if we won't. can? No, But Chris, you are from Kitchener. Right. And uh, you've been doing this for a long time. How did you get into Muay Thai? Uh, well, actually, when I started at uh, the gym TKO, I didn't even know what Muay Thai was. Yeah. But they're a Muay Thai kickboxing gym. And then uh, I went in for kickboxing. And then... Uh, Slowly found out about Muay Thai and mm. never looked back since. I have to warn you that I did have the full set of Billy Blank's Thai bow tapes. <laughs> so I've got some moves. Do you, well, I've just never had contact. Do you, just in the air? But I'll tell you, that can really tick people off doing Thai bow. So I understand. you got to have somewhere for your energy to go, right? Absolutely. So maybe that would have been the evolution of that. And I'm not making light of it because you have to be in wicked shape. To be, because it's a full body workout. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. Kicking arms, and you're saying elbows, knees and as knees. well. Anything goes. Yeah, and toes. Wow. <laughs> so, who are you fighting on Friday then? Do you know yet who um, your competitor is, who your opponent is? Yeah, I know, I know his name is Darrell from uh, Mass or M A S Muay Thai in uh, Cambridge, but I don't really know much about him. Do you, do you learn about, do you want to know about him before you step what in there? What makes him or? tick, what motivates him, where he's coming from? Do you want to know how long he's been undefeated for? Would that, you know, change anything? Not really. I, I just uh, concern myself with my own, my own uh, practices, you know, what I'm working on. And I'll let him try and fight me, not the other way around, right? So he's going to fight you. Yeah. And then you're just going to well, knock him out. I'm going to, I'm going to fight him. He's going to have to worry about me. Right, right. Ooh, see, that's see, the mindset you want. Yeah. So what you're saying is you're going to go on the offensive then, essentially. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's interesting because, uh, you know, with hockey, we kind of do a pre-scout and we kind of have an idea of what the other team's going to do. You're just going in basically blindfolded and, you know, just going to rely on your skills. Yeah, what like you if, you, and, if you hear about a guy, you know, you might, uh, you know, do a couple of things that you know either is weak at or something that will work for you. But I'm not. A lot of times, like you don't know who your opponent yeah. is. Like the fight game, it's not as organized as hockey. You yeah. Know? Mm-hmm. You'll go to Winnipeg or somewhere else, you know, down in the states, and they want to tell you uh, as least about the opponent as possible. Right? Really? So, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Oh, that's interesting. Well, you know what? I'll tell you what. Coming up here uh, before 8 o'clock, can you stick around here for about five minutes or so? Oh, no problem. Um, we, we should try and... We're going to let you punch Brian out. 
<laughs> what am I the designated? I should have brought in my hockey gear. Opponent. Go to town on me with that one. <laughs> Because I mean, I mean, we've got Stan here too from our sales department. Right, I mean, Stan's gonna go up against. Get in here, Stan. Come on. It's maybe, good for sales. <laughs> Stan's standing right. on the other side of the glass. Yeah. Okay. Stan, maybe you can do go up against uh, Chris here or something. Well, we have got the webcam going. Go to DaveFM.com. We're gonna set something up in the next uh, five minutes here. We've also got some music coming from eight o'clock. It's Brian and O'Brien. We've got Troy Smith from the Rangers here in studio with us this morning. <laughs> And uh, good timing to come in because <laughs> we've got a uh, TKO fighter here that's uh, in studio. His name is Chris Gregg. He's fighting in Elements on Friday night. Uh, what's it called again? The uh, the type of Muay Thai. Muay Thai. <laughs> Sounds like a good dish, nice <laughs> food of some sort. But uh, we've oh, got oh, it's a dish, all right. <laughs> we've got the webcam on. If you go to DaveFM.com, just click on my blog and you can watch. Uh, I I guess what's about to happen. What is about to what happen? What are you? Right now? I don't know I don't what know. you're volunteering for, but it's. Yeah, but let me go over here. Poor Chris, because he comes in and he gets put on the spot. What moves can you show me? What can you do, but don't hurt me? Well, that is the, the yeah. <laughs> that's the key. Is uh, can you do something without you know? Here, I better take off my watch. You know, I just. Oh, uh, are you I, kidding? Well, I don't want to hurt him by by accident right. with my watch. He looks very <laughs> concerned, Chris. Are you concerned, honestly? He said like beginner move. He does look like he's ready to hurt you, though. We're almost in the same weight category, right? We're we're close. Yeah, Chris, you were saying your weight category goes what? What what are you? Uh, one one forty to one forty seven. And you are on a strict, really strict diet. Yeah, for the last probably about four weeks. Wow. So you're like, because if I'd been on a diet for four weeks, I could probably knock any one of you out <laughs> right about now. So. So this know. is this may be a bit of an unfair advantage, though. I'm out of that weight class. Right. So this. He's really worried. This might not Brian. be fair. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brian, I suggest you try and get a kidney shot in early. Kidney shot? Try <laughs> and <All right. laughs> get a kidney shot in early. Stun him. And then Stun go him. him. Uh, is, will that work, a kidney shot? On Probably you? not. Oh, man. <laughs> Okay, so what are we going to do here then? The webcam is on DaveFM.com. Um, what, do we, what, do, what, do you, what would you teach me as a Looks beginner like you here? guys are going to dance. Well, uh, I'll just go <laughs> We're going to dance. The basic stand-up clinch and uh, do a turn into a knee. And uh, that's pretty wow. much okay. one of the basic uh, steps that I always teach the beginners right from the very beginning. Just get the feel for uh, the stand-up clinch, pulling the guy's head down. Oh. Get in a good knee to the body. Wow. So in other words, get the feel for kneeing someone in the face. <laughs> and you're not actually going to knee me, are you? I hope uh, so. It depends how, how <laughs> quick you can move. <laughs> okay, well, let's try. Should I put this microphone down then? Will this will this get hurt? Uh, okay, Troy Smith is going to hold the microphone. Keep him pretty, Chris. Keep him pretty, okay? Just I may watch throw you face. in front of me, Troy. Just be ready. <laughs> so, uh, basically, uh, we have well, to stand up. Like We have to get all like, in each other. I know. Look at you, Brian. What's happening? Okay. Wow. <laughs> so, basically... Uh, in the Muay Thai, we always have the clinch. It's a pretty uh, dominant uh, position. Yep. So what you what you do is you okay, grab the back Brian's of the person's head. head. Whoa, Brian, you're already and pinned. You're trying to Too late. pull them down. <gasps> right. And land a knee, right? Whoa. Right. Now, obviously, if the guy do is, that. if the guy is resisting, it's not going to be so easy. No kidding, Brian just went let you do it all, right? <laughs> you know. So. Uh, you want to try and knock them off balance. So what I teach, the first right, knocking knock off balance uh, move I teach my beginners. You grab on. You can give a little bit of resistance. That's good. Yeah. Brian, so then, resist. He's saying resist. resist. Oh. He's, he's, he's trying. Step back. Turn the neck. Oh, did something crack? What happened? <laughs> that, was my that, that was Brian's head <laughs> off the microphone. <laughs> Sorry, so I'm okay. I'm all right. All right. <laughs> Let me do this to you now. What am I all doing? All right. That's good. So you want to get a tight grip here. Yeah. That's very good. You right. can kind of force my head down by... Yeah. He said force yeah, his head yeah. down. Am I knee oh. the head down? Like, well, I guess. That's that. That's pretty good, yeah. Good. Not bad. Hear that? All right, well, uh, you can Are see... Are you okay, Brian? Yeah, I think that crack should be fine. <laughs> Is there a chiropractor in the building? Uh, thanks, man. Uh, well, listen, good luck on Friday. Thanks for coming nice into the studio work, today. Chris. Man. Chris Gregg will be fighting at Elements on uh, Friday night at 8 o'clock is when the bell rings. There's a bunch of fights, though, right? Right, 12 fights. Um, should go probably about three hours, so 8 to 11 latest. Should be a good time. All right, cool. You can get uh, more details online at DaveFM.com. We got tickets for that. We're giving away in the What Is That coming up just before 9 o'clock as well if you want to go check Chris out. Perfect. All right. And keep your distance, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I should be all right. Was that a crack? We're going down, honestly? Chris. Oh, yeah. Better watch your back when you're leaving uh, the parking lot. That's right. He's out of the building now, so I can uh, say that. Yeah. I hope you're in your car when you're going to try and take him down. <laughs> yeah. 7.56, Brian and O'Brien in the morning.